Hey guys, let's do a quick overview of our header settings and we'll go on over to the back end. At the top here we have a how to's section with the video tutorials. Then we have our desktop header tab and this is essentially where you set up the primary structure or the primary layout for your header. Um, as you scroll down there are a few very basic adjustments for us to work with. You can change out the background color and the elements color. Uh, elements color is referring to all of the text uh, located and this little search icon located within our header and then of course you can choose whether or not you want to enable the sticky menu and this pretty much keeps this header section locked to the top of your browser no matter how far uh, you scroll down that page okay so once you've selected a header layout depending on which option you select you can see that this section over here will change accordingly so here we have header uh, type C settings then we have header type B and so forth uh, you can also notice that we have a menu pop-up options show up depending on the layout that you select for example like type C does have a menu pop-up meaning the menu simply slides out and then you can access any other page uh, within your menu so once you've decided on the primary layout, you then move on to the next tab and make adjustments to that layout specifically. Now as you see within type B, we can also choose our logo placement either to the left or to the right. Once you've selected that, scroll further down here, we have a quick overview of the header components and what it includes. So we have our logo options, menu options, search, and a custom menu button. And then we can make certain adjustments. We can enable or disable our search functionality. We can change out the search field placeholder or basically the title that you'll see within the search. Uh, then we can change out the fonts, display the custom menu button. Uh, that's related to this button over here. So it, in our case, it's book now. You can have a different uh, type of call to action button, uh, whatever works for you. And of course, this can be disabled if that's required. And then also you need to assign a link to that button if you decide to add it there. Uh, then you can make adjustments to the button font, the button title color, the button background color, and then the button background color once somebody hovers over that button. So a lot of uh, button related settings you can find within this specific layout. Then we have our logo options where you can select your logo type. We do have three different types of logos. There's a text, website title, and the image logo. So depending on your preference, choose one accordingly. Adjust the font if this is a text or website title logo. And then you can also adjust the logo maximum width for uh, desktop and tablet devices. Uh, by clicking the following link, you will be taken to our uh, YouTube video where we have a more in-depth overview of the logo settings. Uh, this video is slightly based on an older theme, though these settings over here are exactly the same. Okay, next we have our menu options, and this is also pretty simple. Here we choose our menu items font, which is basically all of the pages that we have listed out within the menu. We can then choose our menu uh, font for the drop down items, and then also choose the menu background color and menu items color within the actual drop down. So everything is pretty simple and straightforward here. You then head on over to your mobile header. Uh, this is all pretty straightforward and self explanatory. The options are pretty much the same. You adjust color colors, fonts, enable sticky menu, yes or no, then make certain adjustments to your logo. Uh, for the menu pop-up, uh, once again, also pretty simple. Choose the two different types of pop-ups we have within this theme specifically, and then make adjustments based on colors, fonts, and so forth. So as you can see, everything is pretty simple and straightforward uh, within our header settings. So thanks for watching this video, guys, and I'll see you around later.